right you can see up up in there like right in there there's rocks all that's fire rock but this place this is one of the big stretches of river where everything's just not concentrated enough to really do a lot of sifting so i come and walk these places wow it's raining now picked up that up in there you can see it's a river cobble but it's broke open come right from that fire rock it could have been very well been an airhead but while it's raining if it's rained hard regard if it's raining or not you need to be out looking if you want to find this stuff because that's when it's laying out everything's cleaned off and especially when it starts raining real hard because the water is going to come up you want to look at is the waters the rain waters eroding the shore then when the water goes up over all of it it's going to come back down then you want to look at it again and when the water comes up new stuff's going to come out of the bank it's just a continued cycle of a process so hope that helps that advice later this is what you got to do you see how cleared off this beach is you give it a few days and no rain there's leaves blown in here on it you want to be out when it's raining, especially when the first part of the rain's heavy. The water's coming up right now. I would say by tomorrow morning, the water will be up here, so none of this beach will be unexposed. Unex um, I have a window of time, and I know everybody can't do this if you got jobs and something, but you got a lunch break. And if you're working along the river, you know, I know I'm lucky to be able to come out whenever I want, but I paid the price for it. You know, I went without money for a long months, and you know, it's not like I'm making much on here. For the first, I don't know, several months I was doing it, I was making $200 a month, so, you know, it's better now. I've tripled that, but I've got to get it to where, you know, I'm at least making a 1000 and doing a few other things. But if you have that window, get out. Look at this. You can see how all this stuff's been, see that little kind of plateau of dirt that's all pushed down from up there so whatever was in that or on it's laying here just flat out that's how i found those three points here like a week ago that paleo point that mississippian point and that adena walking places just like this after the heavy rains look at this this is all cleared off a lot of it's grown up you know it's getting into the summer months but I have the potential here, later fake. Right, I would, uh, I'm gonna have to move up a little bit. I've surface hunted all this. I didn't even see any flint on this beach. I found one flake so far, but I could have found four arrowheads. It's, it just depends. And one more thing, um, I'm sorry I can't respond to everything. I'm only one man, and believe me, the last video I put on with that token, you don't know how long that took. I went up there to the dump the night before and dug for three hours and I I was whipped. I couldn't really do much but I was just trying to stay there and push on, listen to some music, find an insulator and I think a marble. The next day I go back, you just gotta have keep the faith because that token's good. I've researched on the internet. There's very little on Smithfield. They had like a railroad boom there a hundred years ago and I think there's 159 people in it in the census of 2010. And there's none of those tokens online. There's no tokens from Smithfield at all online. That might be as scarce as like the Wheeling Suspension Bridge token. I'm not saying nobody has one, but very few people do. Try to buy that. And if I can get more research on it, I'll do a whole video on just the token. That's the goal. And I would have put that information in that video, but there is none. Those are the kind of items we're looking for here. The Bearsville Crocs, they're known, but there's not many of them. And tokens and unknown stuff, that's, man, I'm really happy to find that. But anyway, I'm gonna go down here and try to find a point. I'll shut up later. All right, I got something down here below me. See, I'm picking up little flakes. I'm finding more flint now because I'm on a better part of the site. But right here's a blade or something. It's a tool. That's the cortex of the river coal. Um, nothing to brag about, but you can see it's got work on it. Um, I'm still looking around. I will be back if I see anything later. I'm going to do this live because right there's a piece of Kashokt and Flint sticking out. And I don't know if this is an artifact or not. Maybe it's not an artifact, but man, look at that piece of Flint. And that one, I uh, thought I had something there. 
I'll wipe this off in a minute and show you. It's beautiful Kashak and Flynn. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, look at that stuff. See how it's kind of blue with white and black? It's just beautiful, high quality material. It feels like porcelain. It's real smooth. And this is Coshocton County, Ohio Flint, called Upper Mercer. Some people call it Coshocton Blue Black, um, Coshocton County, Upper Mercer. Um, I think there's an even other, like, geology name for it. Like, I don't, I forget what it is. I've seen it before, but I forget. I just call it Coshocton County, usually, or Upper Mercer. But that's just it right there. And look at this cool rock. I think that's some kind of glacial slate or something, and I'd say an Indian carried that in to make maybe a banner stain out of it, and it's just a little bit too hard, I think. And I think it's got some work on it right here where they started to rub it and just gave up. Damn, but look how pretty that is. But it's raining, the water's high. I have a chance. I've only got a little bit more to look at. I'm heading back to my kayak and, you know, I'm probably blank today. But I'm not sifting or nothing. I got my sifter. I just don't feel like it. Anyway, later. Look this real high bank. You can't see it, but it's straight up and down, like at least 13 foot, 14 foot high. And look, it's right onto the base clay. These rains have just washed it all down. And you can see you come down and you start to get to the edge of the base clay and look at the fire rock and stuff that's piled up that's out of the bank. That is Indian pay dirt. And that's where the coins are at. The coins can get stuck on this base clay, but they'll slide off of it if the rain's hard. And they'll get right into this stuff and then sink straight to the base clay again. And that's what you want to sift. That's what you want to melt detect. All of that. And the water's even up. You know, there's usually five, six more yards of beach out here that I could be looking. Man, it's a miserable day. That's for sure. I'm soaked. I got a sweatshirt on. It's starting to get soaked through, so I'm going to look the rest of this site and leave. I don't want to get wet, um, clear to the skin, and have all these clothes on. But see right here, line of stuff. What's this right here? Oh, uh, folks, life find. Wonder what this is. Oh, yes. We came through. Real nice blade. All right. Live find. It's, you know, I've only got to go around the bend of the river here and look oh and that's nice material and it's not broke it's just oh see man see guys you if you're sitting in the house and you think ah oh, it's a rainy day you can get out a little bit and we'll surface on places in the rain just go you know a little bit got me an artifact look at that it's real nice pretty glossy material too it's a preform for a nice little arrowhead, and that's a nice one. Look at that color on the base. Wow. You know, it's not my greatest find, but I'm happy to find that on a day like today. Get a video clip for all you people watching. I'm doing my best, or otherwise I wouldn't be out here today in this. I got to tell you that. And I got a live find. That don't happen too much. Wow. Later, folks. All right, this little walk took me about getting my car from the my house to the river took 15 minutes and I've walked here for 45 minutes and now I'm done walking the site and I'm walking back to my kayak and I got an artifact and a few that flake of that Kashok and Flint's like a flake tool it's got some use wear on the edge where they've cut something with it or something and it's an average thing just common but it's worth it for that blade for me especially for the video and uh I don't really think it was worth the walk to be enjoyable today, wading in this muddy, mucky water. It's better to do this right after it rains and it stops, or while after the heavy rain stopped when the water's down. You got a lot more surface area on the beach to look, and it really washes it. Um, that day I found these three points. Um, that's, the water was down, but you can see here, this is all Indian rock, all of it. Maybe with the exception of some of these bigger pieces, because there's a there was some rock thing out of a cornfield that is above me, down on the bank, and I think that's what that is. But all this red stuff in here is Indian campfire rock, and uh, all of it's getting washed off. 
and I had the potential for a point in any pile of this the whole walk down through here and just got one piece but at least I didn't blank later all right one more thing some more tips for you mow detector guys see that that's a piece of a crock that white thing right there's a piece of an old like cobalt blue and white speckled bowl or crock look at all this fire rock any coin and stuff so this this is just awesome to mow detect it's some of the best best mow detecting in the world see here's like a piece some iron i mean there's just stuff everywhere on the ohio if you get on places like this um some places aren't good at all they're all muddy and stuff but you get on these beaches like this that you can find the indian stuff and stuff on too you can just go nuts on the coins and i will do that in future videos to where i just go out and it'll be like some of them days where i was just finding air ahead after air ahead after air ahead it's coin after coin after coin old flat button thimble silver spoon it's just it just you're digging targets all day good targets not junk later all right give you a shot of this i'm leaving now i've already walked this site took me about Ah, 40. I looked at my phone when I got back here. I guess it was about 40 minutes. It took me 40 minutes to walk it all and look it. It's pouring down rain, but I got an artifact. Nothing spectacular, but you know, you don't even want to take off rainy days if you got a YouTube channel. Um, this is some of the best uh, looking in the world on the Ohio River. Um, it's the best mow detecting in the world. Um, if you get on the right spots, there's stuff everywhere. I'll do some mow detecting videos on the river. My detector's not waterproof, and I used to have a waterproof one, but lost it in a divorce. You know how that goes. But uh, anyway, there'll be some tips in this video on some of the stuff I'm looking, a few, and you know, you wanna get out and just look as much as you can, because you never know. That could have been a beautiful Amos point. I'll find a blade, you'll see it. But anyway, folks, later. Look at the bubbles on the surface of the water there from the rain. Hmm. For you people that wonder what this is like, there's hardly any background sound. I'm in a place where there's not a lot of people. The air smells like kind of lavender from something blooming up in here. There's white flowers up here on the bank. I can smell them. The wind's blowing down river. Back there a little farther, I smelled something real musky and heard something moving around up on the flat and it was a deer. I could smell him. It was a doe or a buck up in the woods here along the river. Lots of animals here in these stretches along the river. Um, look at these fire pits in there. You can just see them right here from the boat just piles of fire rock right there but it's a nasty day I'm soaked I'm completely soaked in 45 minutes but the water is going to go up so I wanted to come out and try to find at least one artifact and we got her um, you can see my flint build up there I found all that in 45 minutes there's flakes of flint ridge Coshocton man this site has a bunch of stuff and look at that little blade that's pretty nice I like it nice color well anyway that's it for this one later you can see this here it's real fresh it's like in the last well today within the last three hours this is a beaver sees tracks here see them here all the time that's what it is for sure Lay down. this has been here a while but it's probably that same beaver look at him hammering that he's almost got this one worked through but i'm still looking look at this fire rock coming out it's all indian I'm um, do my best to find something here, sir. This is the same place I found that blade yesterday laying out. I come and walk these places um, before I go to other sites and try to get something in the morning to make my day go a little bit easier. Um, see what I can get later just hopped out of my kayak right there and right on this beach or something laying out it's broke it looks like but yep it's a point man you can really help it's busted real nice like red heat treated stuff that's a shame i'm gonna start showing everything 
just to show you what's involved with this. You know, I found a little blade yesterday. That was a surface hunting trip. Um, now I'm out again. See the difference between sifting and this. I find way more point sifting, but I'm gonna look this and see what I can find. See the water dropped, it was up in there. And instead of going up, it went down. Um, I will uh, get back if I see anything else. That's the first find for this morning. That's a shame, that's a nice, got nice color. Might be a pentagonal dart point, that's what I'd call that. I found find pentagonal knives here with a classic pentagonal shape, and I'd say this is one of the little darts. Well, anyway, folks, later. Hey, folks, I did it. I did it. I did it. Right there is my kayak. Right there is where that point was laying out. What I talked about yesterday, the rain, the water coming up, the water going down, they really opened the gates up, and look at this. And I didn't bring my phone either, so I'm gonna... Looks like it has a little ear neck, and I'll get that restored, but this is an Amos made of real high quality material, and it's gonna be a smoker. It looks like it might even be Flint Ridge, and I can get that little ear restored on it, and it'll go right in one of my good frames. And if I can get one of these Amos points a month, 12 of them a year, I'm on pace to what I wanna be finding. Just look at this material, and it's come right out of this fire pit. I was just here yesterday, and waves washed this out. Let me turn this off and get a picture with my GoPro. I'll try to get the best picture I can, and then we'll pick this up. Oh, man, fix. I, this makes my day when I find one in the morning surface hunting way better when I'm sifting. I can just, oh, yes, folks. Later. All right, I'm back. Let's get this one out of here. Oh, folks. Oh, if this would have had the other ear on it, it would be one of the nicest ones of all. Oh, it's still a smoker. Look at that trans. That's Flint Ridge. And I maybe have two. Oh, folks, that's getting that ears getting restored. And you know, that probably was just a freeze pop or rolling around in the surf. You know, in a year, this would probably have the tip gone and the other barb gone. Oh, look at, with that little ear restored, this will just be an absolute killer. Oh, man, folks. Look at that. That's a beauty. I'm going to keep looking around. You can see how this come out. We're on a slant here, and the rain and the water pushed that right down in there. And you see where it was kind of caught back in here. These roots and stuff in here are holding this stuff right in here. Oh, right. We got one, and it's, look at the chipping on that, and the nice medial ridge. All right, later. All right, to give you a shot of that, you should be able to see that translucent tip and the ear and how nice this material is. I don't know that it is Flint Ridge. I think it might be some kind of river cobble agate. Might be Flint Ridge, though. But man, the base and the notches are polished smooth. Polished smooth. Later, folks. All right, here it is again. I want to pound this into your brain. If you're out on the river looking, this is the stuff you want to look for. These pockets of fire rock it means there's a big site here, and it means it was Indian setting around campfires for a long time. Most of this rock like this has been fired repeatedly, and you can see the base clay up there. Anything that was on that base clay that fell out of the bank is going to be right in these pockets, 100%, all of it. That's why I find points almost every trip. Not as much surface hunting, but you can see I'm still finding stuff. But all the real good, perfect stuff's in the ground. Right in here's where I found that blade yesterday, and look, it looks completely different. It's sanded in. That little blade, you saw that. This is the same spot. I'd say I found it right there where my footprints are at, but right up in there, and you can't see any of that gravel today. It's covered. So think of what's in the ground below my feet here. Down to the base clay. The sand's thicker here too. You might have to dig three feet to get to the base clay on this area right here. There's a lot of sand pushed up. But you can see evidence of Indian activity everywhere. Right here's another piece of Coshocton flint, a tiny finishing flake. You'll see that. You'll see these little tiny flakes like this. And that tells you that there's a whole bunch of stuff in the ground. Not a little, a lot. And you're walking right over it. 
you want to try to sift too if you're able i know some people aren't able you know you just want to get out and walk um but you know my buddy chuck's 71 years old and he keeps himself in shape he rides a bike 30 miles before he even comes to the river to um dig on average so in closing on this video i'm going and sifting the rest of the day it's still probably only 10 o'clock in the morning right now by one i'll be on another site digging till standing in like an area like this for five six hours sifting non-stop just like a machine um if you're watching this and then you're gonna go out and do it just don't keep the stuff for yourself you know in a hundred years there isn't gonna be very many places to, to look and uh people are gonna envy us for what we were able to do during this time it's wide open all of these sites are just falling into the river and with development and houses and plants going in fracking plants the banks are getting rip wrapped and the stuff's just not going to be able to be found again um so try to start a website try to uh upload your videos and show everything because all of it's important even that broken arrowhead i found coming off this site somebody might find one like it a hundred years from now and be like hey i got one like that all of it's important folks upload your pictures of your finds maybe start a youtube channel because somebody's going to watch it in the future and love that you did it and find joy from it and believe me envy you for being able to come out and find this stuff sites are being destroyed every year i lost a really good amos point site this is another one i don't have many left and by the end of my life i doubt i'm going to be able to find one a year and think a hundred years from now it's just a thought all right i'll start this little hunting video out on why i started doing this started watching a few people's channels um didn't have really much time to uh watch videos but i watched commissioner tom and great basin man and uh what's that guy's name down south um the ditch walker the ditch walker man guy finds some awesome stuff and he puts on good uplays and he's sifting a lot of places like i am too but i started watching aqua chigger too and you know that guy has a lot of subscribers he uh gets to go out every day and do what he loves with no worries from the regular BS you have in life from a job, deadlines, he's, you know, I envy the dude and I also admire him. Um, and I thought, you know, I can do this. So, you know, I wanna get paid for this, but I also wanna look all the time because I love this, you know. Who wouldn't want to be out here every day? Some days it stinks because it's real hot, but it really doesn't stink. You know, the bug bites, the cuts on your hands, none of that matters because you're not at work. And that's the goal here. Man, that's an old bottle. I'd say that's a Christmas Coke or a big Coke. Um, but anyway, that's why I started doing it. You know, it'd be awesome to be making three or four thousand dollars a month off ads and views and not have any care in the world and be able to come out and show people all this stuff you find. It's absolutely what I'm after. Like, and I'm going to go for it hard every day till it does work. That's just my attitude on everything. You know, this has been a great morning already carrying these points with me. This is definitely a pentagonal. You can tell. You can see them ones I found on another site. They have that slightly concave base, but this is a pentagonal dart point thing with an atoatl set up. Um, but that's the goal here, folks. To even look more. And after it does get bigger, I'll go to Lake Erie and look. And all over a high in West Virginia. Travel to the south. Um, all of these places. There's a little flake of black canola. Um, but that's the goal. 
to be able to branch out, look everywhere, and, and do it every day. Every day. Well, anyway, folks, that's the goal. Lay down. All right, well, I was up here this, this morning, looked at the water, and it was, like, way lower. It's going to be a burden looking. This stinks. But I found that Amos point today. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. I might be able to come up with something. I had higher hopes for this. The water is too high, but I can sift in the water later. Man, what do you think about that thing? Yuckage. Keep this another life. Yuck. It's pretty great, huh? I'm filling my sifter. All right, not much in this screen, but there is a piece of that other uh, pen knife. If you go back in my video, I found another piece of this, like this much of it with some of the rusted metal blades in it and right there's the other edge of it power of the sifter you can say whatever but i'm getting it all if that was a point i'd have had half and the other half right there you know i'm not leaving anything away whatever's come out of the bank around the fire pit i get it all 98 percent of it because i stay here till there's i just can't find nothing and come back till i can't find nothing and then I move on. Lay that. You know, the water's up. I'm standing in, I don't know, 10 inches of water all day. It's just going to be blind sifting. Right there's a nutting stand just with like one of them wee little drill holes in it. That's kind of cool. Look at it. See it there? Well, anyway, lay that. No, this would have been a day maker. It's hematite. And guess what it is? It's a hematite silt with a razor bed on it. And it's just the corner and it's all blown apart. You can see the bit right there. Oh, this would have been beautiful. I love these little things, and they're hard to find. They are real, real nice ones. And that frame Chuck had, I, I probably have 15 real nice ones that I've found in the past 30 years. Um, real nice ones, and a lot of average ones, but this would have been a dandy. Uh, I would have liked to have that. Look at that bed. I mean, you could probably shave yourself with that. This hematite, this tool grade. It's just like an, uh, a metal wax, pretty much. It's natural iron ore. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's sick. Anyway, the later phase of the year, but check this out. I thought it was a triangle like this, but it's a broken drill. And let's say it's bird point, people, because look at this high quality flint ridge and this is where i found a lot of these bird points but the water's way up i'm this is one of the few places where i have shore here and it's right on the base clay and i'm just trying to get anything i can to put in my sifter and look at that drill it's a shame that's break it would have been a day maker it it seems to have an awful sharp tip there it might be a triangle but i'm thinking it's a drill i think that would have went straight up here into a little like drill tip it could be a triangle though but i don't think it could have came out a little bit it could be sharp and weird but i think it's a t-drill and it's flint ridge it would have been a day maker but anyway lay that. check it out that's the lower jaw of that beaver got one of them fixed and another teeth See if we can't, I'm trying to get all of it. I'm, look at all this high quality flint out in here. One point made out of something like that would just be a year maker. And it's everywhere. There's just flakes of it everywhere. And I'll show you a picture, look at my kayak. It's just water splashed in from all the boat waves today. But I'll show you that in this video. I will show a picture of a uh, Kashokton blue black and this is the gray variety right here. This is definitely Kashokton gray flint from Kashokton County, Ohio And see what it looks like. I'll try to save this out if I remember and put a picture of it in the video So you can get a good idea of the flint types I'm finding and this is Flint Ridge from Flint Ridge State Park in Central Ohio And I'm three hours away by car and it's everywhere and there's no doubt that's what it is and look at that big beaver teeth. That's worth me coming just to find that. You know, I can have that head in my cabinet now with the jaw on one side and both teeth. So awesome. Lit it. All right, you can see here the beaver jaw. You can see I found this. This tooth wasn't in there. I showed this before, but I got the bottom jaw now. 
see how they run up in there that's why the beavers have to com keep continuously gnawing on stuff so that their teeth don't grow around and kill them you see how that jaw is going to fit on there i'm going to go for the other see how the teeth line up there the the molars like it's in there about how it is um i'm going to look for the other jaw but that'll be a nice display for one of my cabinets even if i don't find the other jaw which i'd say i have about a 95 percent chance the water was up got that other cool tooth in it too um show you a few more things here how much i look um right here say there's 20 pounds in here 15 to 20. this is all flint from two weeks just there's just this is about two weeks to look at bags i took in my pocket full of flint there's tons of broken airheads in here i gotta go to them just tons of little flake tools and stuff all kinds of flint from all over the place there's a little flake knife see how it's been spalled off that's carter cave too i'm sorry if i was off of that that's Carter Cave. Um, it's a little flake blade. There's lots of these in here. I got a, there's shell midden shell. There's just tons of stuff. Fishing lures I found. Um, there's lots of stuff in there. That's how much I look and I save all the flint. And it's off basically one place. So that's why I have that in one bucket. I've been looking one place real hard. But anyway, that'll be it for this. Thanks for watching. Um, got that nice Amos this morning. Got lots of other stuff. A lot of break and stuff, but the water was way up. I shouldn't even have went. But anyway, later. All right. You can see how high these banks are here. They're real high. You can see all this red fire rock. This is all Indian campfire rock. There's a flake of flint. Look at it sticking out of the bank. All this is going to come down, lay in the water, and settle and layer up. And if you come up here, let's see. Um see more fire rock in here this is these are good spots to look you want to look through all this stuff but see this right here that's a little flake of kashakt and flint it's a tiny finishing flake where an indian was chipping something right there some of the flakes might be real tiny that's on the surface but there's a bunch of stuff here and i found flakes laying out here on video um recently in my uploads I come back here and look at this. It's been a pretty rough day so far. I mean, you found break stuff, but I found points this morning. I just try to get out as much as possible. But uh, I'm going to surface on this. I just wanted to show you that if you watch my videos, you'll get lots of tips. See, all this cracked up. This is all Indian rock. All of this burn up stuff. Here's more. And every time it rains, you have a shot here. Later. That ain't a bad basketball. It's holding air. Plus I got a plastic Walmart chair. You know, that's 14 bucks anyway, it can be cleaned up. I got a bunch of river lots where I own property on the river. And that'll be a perfect chair to fish off of. Look at all the water on my bait. Um, you know, I could do a channel just on this stuff I find and all the wood. I have wood stacked up up here. I might have to make a trip back over here to get all the, the treated boards I found, but that chair is perfect. Um, the basketball ain't bad take that to a summer league game and put up about 40 on a bunch of high school kids believe me i can later